Hey hi everyone, this is Phil from statisticsmentor.com. What I'd like to address is whether standardization works for variables that are not normally distributed. Recall that when we first see standardization, we usually told that the variable is normally distributed with mean which is not zero and the variance which is not one. Standardization is a process which we get that variable into a new variable called z which is normally distributed with mean of zero and a variance of one. Now I'd like to know whether this standardization process works when your variable is not normally distributed. Why that m might that be an interesting question? might be interesting in the case of regression because once we do a regression and we look at a residual plot we know that we should look at the standardized or studentized residuals rather than the normal residuals. But if my residuals are not normal, they're distributed, does it make sense to standardize them? Well, we're going to look in this video. We've got education data here. DV is earnings. IV is, work, is working experience. Let's fit regression. Analyze regression linear. Earnings into the dependent box. Experience into the independent box. And then we go save. We're going to save the unstandardized residuals and the standardized because we want to look at the sh shape of the distribution. Is it normal or not? To new, OK. So here we have two new columns one of the unstandardized residuals, the plain old raw residuals, and the standardized residuals. Now let's look at the shape of this here residual, the raw residuals graph. I'm going to choose to use the legacy dialogues histogram resid into the variable box OK. What we can see from this is that the residual plot sorry not residual plot, the histogram of the unstandardized residual has a mean of close to 0 minus 8 point times 10 to minus 15 so it's plus or minus 0 but the standard deviation is not 1 it's 14 Moreover, this distribution is certainly not symmetrical. It is positively skewed. So when we go and compute the standardized versions, as we've asked SPSS to do, will it will this column have a mean of zero and a variance of one? And will it what will be the shape of the distribution? Let's have a look. Graph looks at dialogues. Histogram. Sit. Standardized residuals instead. Here it comes. Standardized residuals. It's a histogram of the standardized residuals. Is it normally distributed? No. It is still positively skewed. What about the mean? The mean is minus 5 times 10 to minus 16. That's pretty much zero. How about standard deviation? 0.987, that's pretty much close to 1. In other words, standardization has worked even though my distribution is not normally, my variable is not normally distributed. Okay, so why I brought this up is that when we ever, when typically students are presented with this process of standardization, that it's done in the context that the variable is normally distributed, but here I've shown you that it works even when the variable is not normally distributed. And we might encounter such an occasion to see this when we are doing linear regression and our residuals are not normally distributed. But then standardization still works and we need standardized residuals to hunt for things such as outliers. Okay, nice brief tutorial and I hope this has been useful to you.